Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about the cyborg of the poison world, dimethylmercury. Dimethylmercury is an organometallic, which means that it contains bonds between metal and the chemical basis of all known life on Earth, carbon, giving it chemical traits common in both organic and inorganic chemistry. Hence, my calling it the cyborg of the chemical world. Mercury is the metal in question, and when you have dimethylmercury poisoning, the mercury is what actually kills you. Death by mercury causes blindness, madness, and a whole slew of other horrors. And if you want to go down the deep, dark rabbit hole that is mercury poisoning, be my guest. We've covered that one before. So why are we talking about dimethylmercury? Methyl mercury. Well, because it makes mercury look like a child's poison for sissy babies. Mercury is dangerous, but dimethylmercury is super, oh my god, we're all going to die dangerous. It has a faint sweet smell, but if you're close enough to smell it, you're already way too close. A dose as low as 0.1 milliliter dropped on your skin is enough to kill you. Plus, in seconds, it can pass through latex, PVC, butyl, and neoprene. So 90% of safety equipment commonly used in labs and 100% of the protective gear you've got lying around your house won't do jack to stop dimethylmercury. The good news is, once a drop has hit your skin, you'll have plenty of time to yell, oh my god, these goggles do nothing because it can take months to kill you. But the bad news is that a single drop can raise your mercury level to 80 times the toxic threshold. Plus, who spills just one drop at a time? This isn't bartending school. You're gonna overpour, and you're gonna die. So, you touched less than a milliliter of dimethylmercury a month ago, and now you're dead. Tough break, we hardly knew you. Though, there are a few things we can guess based on how you died. First off, you were probably a high-end chemist studying toxic metal exposure, and your tombstone is most likely to read, here lies Dropsy, the world's dumbest chemist. Because prior to 1997, no one knew exactly how dangerous dimethylmercury was, and accidents at a lab could have been more easily explained away. But in 1997, one of the world's top chemists, Karen Wetterhahn, fell victim to accidental dimethylmercury poisoning, and her fellow chemists started looking into how it happened. They tested all the protective gear in the lab and were the ones who found that dimethylmercury passes through pretty much everything. Since their discovery, the word is out. Dimethylmercury is either not used at all or used with extreme caution, like they're laminating their protective gear and wearing full hazmat suits. So dimethylmercury sounds like a pretty tough way to die. Since you can't handle the real deal, maybe you should try this sissy baby version, Mercury, instead. And as always, let us know in the comments any poisons you'd like to hear about, like Poodle in a Can did for dimethylmercury. Thanks, Poodle.